Hello everybody and as you can see we are here in the kitchen and we are about to cook some delicious things but before we start let us introduce people. Hi what's your name? My name is Charlene. How old are you? I am 10 years old. So she's on the show because she listened to us. She went on Facebook and she took a picture of herself cooking. If you want to come and host a show with me cooking make sure to go take a picture of yourself or a video of yourself cooking anything just absolutely anything okay and send it on our facebook ktn club kiboko now hi hi how are you fine thank you how are you i'm fine what's your name my name is chef alice uh-huh we are here at dairy restaurant in boma grill okay. okay today we are going to do the mini pizzas for the kid yes. and the margarita pizzas okay yeah hi. how are you i'm fine what's your name i'm Jennifer. okay and so you're here together? Yeah, she's my colleague. Okay, so yeah. let's get to it. Okay, we are going to get started. We are going to start with the mini margarita pizzas. Okay, to make the dough, you have to have one liter of water. One liter of water? Yeah, two kg of baking flour. Okay. You have to have olive oil, 700 ml. Okay. You have to have salt, oh. yeast, and sugar. Okay, but before we start, we need the gloves. Yes. And we need, yeah. Yes, we do. So we normally do the mini pizzas just on the buffet Sundays, but you can come for the maximum pizza. Yeah. Okay. So it's normally for children, but if you're very hungry, you should you can order a big pizza. Yeah. On Sunday we have a kiddie section where we do the mini pizzas. We do the chicken nuggets, fish fingers, and the chicken sausages. Okay. So yes. let's start. Okay. Okay. We are going to start with the dough. You have to make it early enough like a day prior to the, the other day, so yeah. that it, it can raise itself. So you're going to roll the dough. Yeah, so the dough is already made. Yeah, it's ready. So you put it into the flour? Yeah, so that it cannot stick on the surface that you're going to okay. roll it. Yeah. Okay, so me, once I try to make pizza, but okay. when I made the dough and everything, mm -hmm. I put it on a flat surface. Mm -hmm and I put the cheese and stuff and blah, blah, mm -hmm. but then it got stuck, so. Okay, what you're supposed to do when you're making the pizza, you have to put the flour on the surface. So yeah. It cannot stick. But then when I was rolling it, mm -hmm. it still got stuck and there was flour under. So should, mm -hmm. do you first of all roll it and then put everything and then you put it in a tray or you yes. put it in a tray then? You have to roll it first, you put everything, then you put it, you ha we have a spatula to oh. lift it up oh, oh, for the okay. big pizzas. But for the mini pizzas, what you do, you just put it in a flashing tray. Okay. For the mini pizzas, you do them in the rational oven. Okay. Yeah, but you have a clay oven for okay. the big pizzas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those for are... the mini pizzas, you just do it in the rational oven. Wow. So. Those Doing cracks. It, eh? Which cuts? So you can see cracks over here. Yeah, yeah I can see. Are those bad, good, or what? No, they are good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're using a hard dough. Okay. Yeah. So for the mini pizzas, you have to cut small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Course. For yeah. the babies. Yeah. Then for the mini pizzas, we do them in the rational oven. Okay. But if you want a big pizza, we do it in the clear oven. Sours. Yeah. Okay. That's our flashing tray. For the margarita pizza, we use the pomodoro sauce, which is put on top. Then, you bake then we use the mozzarella okay. cheese and the basil leaf. Wow. You just put on top, then you bake it. So, when it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Cool. She just used a cutter to cut the dough. Okay, and then you're gonna recycle that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, I like the shape. But how come it's not that flat? It's not? That flat, it's supposed to be flat like this, yeah? No, it's not a must. Oh, okay, it yeah. has to be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So do you put it and, oh, yeah, sorry? Okay, you have to do it alone without doing the fillings. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So how did you make your, this? Pomodoro sauce. Pomodoro sauce, we buy it, it's in a tin. Oh. But we have to cook it. We add some other stuff inside. What do yeah. you add? We add like seasoning, salt and pepper. Yes, and then we make it thick a bit. Okay. Yeah. Do you like blend it? Yeah, we do. Because when it's thin, it's like a whole tomato or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is mozzarella? Yeah, cheese. But you have to grate the cheese. Yeah. It's grated. Yes, it is. 
¿Qué? ¿Sabor? Es de sos. ¿Esto es de sos? Sí. ¿Tú añadas onions? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, black pepper. Then we have the basil leaves here, fresh mm -hmm. ones. You have to put them on top. So first you're going to show us, or oh, we wanted you to show us first to do, mm -hmm. and then after we try ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so what? Come and run it. Okay. Oh, you have to remove the gloves. Yeah, you can't do it with the gloves. Why not? Because you have to dust, you have to hold the the flour by your hands, so and your hands have to have the flour. Okay. Ah, okay. So now we put the. Do we put this the sauce? No. What do you put? You have after? to put it first before putting the sauce. You have to like blanch it a bit in the rational oven. Oh, then you okay. take it out. You put the sauce, the cheese, and then the finishing. Okay. So how long? So you've been a chef for how long? For the for like five years. Okay. So when you came here, you became a chef. Yes. Okay. It wasn't what I wanted to do, but when I came here, it was my passion, and I went back to school and I perfected it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. She's really nicely rolling it. Yeah. So now she's putting it in the oven so that it can rise a tiny bit blanch and then after we'll continue with the sauce and the cheese and the rest. So how long are we leaving it for? Maybe maximum 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that is already... It's going to come out like this. Now this is already. I love this. It's... Yeah. So when it's like this, you have you can now just put the sauce, then the cheese, then the basil leaves. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. We start with the sauce. So not too much, not too little. Yeah, not, not too, too much. much. Oh, okay. Is that too much? No, that's enough. Okay. So when you put too much sauce, what happens? It's going to be soggy. Soggy. Yeah. Oh, and we don't want a soggy pizza. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and what happens when we put too much cheese? It's going to melt, then it's going to make the cheese look like the pizza oh. looks bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now after we put the cheese? You put the cheese, then we bake it. Okay. Yeah. Oops, I'm messing up. It's okay. Now you can put your cheese. That's mozzarella cheese. This mozzarella cheese. So we don't put too much? We don't put too much. That good? Yeah, that's enough. Also, we have to make sure it doesn't fall. Yeah, it doesn't fall. Tell me when it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, okay. Then you go to the next one. So what happens when it falls? Nothing. Because after it's ready, you're just going to pick it. Yeah. But it's better when it's... Okay. Okay, so you bake it first. After it's ready, you're going to put your base in leaf. Okay. Charlene, what have you learned today? Kenya, what about yourself? Me, I've learned how to make nicely the dough mm -hmm. and how, um, that you should leave it to rise overnight. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you should first, I, I didn't know that you should first cook it, then come back, you put your toppings, then yeah, cook yeah. it again. Yeah. Mostly that, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So I think now our pizza is ready. Okay. Okay, we can get it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. It's ready, now you can put your basil leaf. Okay. Yeah. So why can't we put the baby still leaf before? Because it's going to cook. It's not supposed to cook. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because so. it's just a fresh herb. It's not supposed to cook. So oh. you just put on top like two. So I have a question. Which school did you go to for, for uni? I mean okay, for I went to Kenya Utali College. Okay. Yeah. 
It's okay. Great, there we go. Now we have our mini margarita pizzas. Yes, so yes. This is what you do for, for the kids. You can taste. Okay. Yeah. You just scoop it, it's hot. Okay. Here. It's pretty hot, right? Yeah, it is, but you can put on a plate. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You can have the also on the plate. We have a taste as well. Please. Okay. Great, there we go. Are you a team player? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. I don't like it. Why? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Charlene? It's delicious. Thank you so much. Did I scare you? No, you didn't. <laughs> It's quite hot though. Yeah. So guys, remember when you're making your pizzas or anything, make sure to leave it to cool and then you eat it. So, but me, I'm a, you know, I don't. <laughs> so remember guys, if you have to make mini pizzas, make sure, or if you want to just, you know, you don't feel like cooking, you can come here at Dari, Dari restaurant, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then yes, this is Chef Alice. Before we end the show, I have one more question. <laughs> Excuse me. How long had you been in the cooking school for? Okay, I went there for one year, eight months. But it depends on how you get things fast. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is? This is Dairy Restaurant and Boma Grill. We are just along Gong Road, next to St. Christopher School. We don't only do this. We have a lot of things in our kitchen. Yeah. We have Indian chef. We do pizzas. Then we have a show kitchen, as you can see. Yeah. We have our show kitchen. We do juices, which are fresh yeah. as possible. We do it as per order. Yeah, then on Sundays, we have buffets for kids. We have kiddie sections where we do chicken nuggets. We do fish fingers for kids. Yeah, we do the mini pizzas and the sausages and chips for kids. OK, we also have a la carte at the same time. We also do bun, and we do have the bouncing castles for kids and activities for kids. Yes, we also do the like the steak stones where the guests ask for meat, you do it yourself on the table. Yeah. Okay. So you guys heard it, you should come here to Dari restaurant and you're going to have a lot of fun. And thank you, Shan Shan Shaleen. Shaleen, for coming. Remember that if you want to come cook with me, make sure to send us a short video or picture of you on our Facebook, KTN Club Kiboko. Cooking anything, eggs, whether anything, okay? And then you come like my friend here. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the next category. <laughs>